Hi guys, welcome to the Laravel API video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can create an API for insert the data in the database. So this is my database and uh, the table name is institutes and here we will insert some data through the APIs. So these are the steps that we are going through in this video. First of all we will make a route for APIs, we will make controller, model and then we will write the code for API and after that we will hit the api on the postman and we will check that is working on working fine or not all right so now let's get start so first of all uh, just open the api.php and guys if you want to uh, learn how we can create the token and generate the token then you can watch our previous video i have make the video for login and registration also the link is also given in the description box okay so now let's start with that so first of all i'm just going to make a route and I'm just going to make a route outside the auth API because first of all I will show you that how we can do it without the token and after that we will show you how we can pass the to token and uh, authenticate the user also. So, so uh, my API for the institutes so just I'm going to put the institute as a in post API. So and my user controller name is also institutes and function name can be create all right so now uh, this is ready and now just i'm going to make a uh, controller so just write here php artisan make controller and controller name is institutes And hit the enter and you can see that uh, authentication is this is created now we have to create the model also for the model we will uh, just not going not going to put the name plural we will put only institute and just right here make model and in model I'm going to put inside a folder which is the name of model so just hit enter again and you can see that we got the model folder inside the this api also all right so now uh, let's write the code for three steps are done just write the code for api for that uh, just i'm going to open the institutes controller and here first of all i'm just going to import my uh, institute uh, model all right so just use the uh, app which is the folder name and inside here I'm just going to write model inside the model institute is my file name all right so now make a function so for now I'm just going to make it a public function create why create because we put the create in the API also all right so here what I I need a object new object for the institute so just I'm going to put in item and new institute all right so with that uh, just write a code for this dollar item and you can see that we have a three columns here one is the id name and location id is auto incremented so i'm just going to put the uh, name and location so the name will be like uh, cmc and location you can write simply gurgaon um, and after that you can just uh, use the save function to save the data okay so now you can check if it's true that means the data is saved then you can return a success message 
in the success you can simply return the dollar item and it will tell you what data is inserted here else I will show you this data with the uh, from the API also for now just uh, we are putting the data for hard code else you can return operation failed fine so after that we need to put one more thing when we just uh, want to save the data with the eloquent that means the model then we have to put uh, then we have to use the created date and updated date because Lara will always put that the two date should be happen in the uh, uh, should be uh, present inside the table column so we, we don't have that so how we can prevent that for that we have to use the timestamp for so for that we can just simply write here public dollar timestamp equal to false all right so we made the code we made the controller model and route here so api should work for now so now let's try with the postman so i'm just going to write it from the very scratch so here the api should be the post and body for now that's like name other because we are just putting the hard code data and here i just uh, right here institute and try to hit that then you can see that we got the successfully entered that data so here you can see that we have one data and now we have the two data also All right so now let's do it with the request also so I'm going to put the parameter here and here and they will be uh, 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 accessible here in the institute file and we are uh, get the requested uh, value inside the database also so now let's do it okay so now i'm just going to put the name here so name like um, am i and location can be like daily so now just come back here inside the request you have to uh, pass the request and they are should be the kind of type of request uh, request type so just use uh, request here and now just change this request name and location nice so now you can see that uh, we have the two data here so just I'm going to hit the third one with the here and you can see that the third data is also inserted let's check here all right so this is also inserted so let's try one more like here I want to put like uh, mm, IT area and location is can be Pune hit this is try here so we got here all right so now let's do it with the uh, token so now I'm going to put this as here okay and let's try to do that the Pune and I'm just going to make it uh, daily okay so IT hub whatever you want to put and just try to hit the enter and it will telling that the error the route login is not defined actually I did not handle the error but that's it's why it's coming it's due to the token is not validated token is not provided so here I'm just going to generate a token which is the name of uh, anil at the rate test.com and password is here alright and where they are coming because in the last video if you don't see that the user is here and we set up the everything about the token and passport and everything all right so I'm just going to get this one and token just copy it and here I'm just going to pass a header with the name of authentication and here just write the bearer here 
and let's see now you can see that we got the new more entry so we have the entry up to the 10 and when I just hit it we got the 11th entry alright so this is about the video how we can save the data with the API and uh, it can be also possible with the token and everything so in the next video we will learn the uh, resources in Laravel so it will basically curled and in the next video we will learn something more so don't forget to subscribe the channel like this video please give a comment or uh, anything good anything bad that you want to put then you can put so thanks guys thanks for watching this video also